causes of connecting rod failure 1 flooded engine unlike air liquids are not really compressible if the engine is hydrolocked that is filled with a fluid instead of just air you run the risk of bending the connecting rods when you go to start your vehicle you will have to the flood the engine before you can start the car normally 2 pre ignition or detonation pre ignition and detonation are terms for abnormal combustion of the air fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber fuel may combust prematurely due to a variety of reasons carbon build up ignition timing that's too advanced or running fuel with too low of an octane rating for the vehicle large pre ignition or detonation events cause massive cylinder pressures sometimes more than the engine was designed for greatly exceeding expected cylinder pressures in this way could cause catastrophic engine failure 3 poor engine management if you're running aftermarket engine parts chances are you had a tuner program your aq if this tune is too aggressive for your running conditions or you push your engine a bit too far you may end up throwing a rod most vehicles require a tune when certain bolt on parts are installed such as an intake exhaust boost controller or a bigger turbo driving the car hard before the engine has been tuned to account for the new hardware could break something pretty expensive including a connecting rod 4 over revving the engine as you reverend the engine higher the forces exerted on connecting rods increase because the pistons are moving faster if you reverend the engine higher than it was designed to handle you're probably going to be looking at buying a new engine most engines prevent you from over revving the engine and will cut fuel when you're at a just above red line the easiest way to over reverend the engine is on a manual transmission if you downshift to a gear that's too low for the speed you're traveling you'll skyrocket the rpms and your engine won't be able to keep up this is known as a money shift because this type of miss shift ends up being very expensive five engine modifications many factory connecting rods are made thinner than they used to be on older vehicles this is done in the name of efficiency and cost savings thinner rods don't pose a problem at stock power levels but stock rods aren't always sufficient if you're trying to make a lot more power if you're trying to build your car to go faster make sure you do a lot of research on forums for your specific vehicle to see what the typical build path is for the power level you're hoping to make